just open it already. So it's been a long couple of days and this was waiting for me when I got home. So I thought I'd open it up and show you my example cause I can't wait. All right, so these have been floating around a few shops, AIM Surplus, Center Fire Systems. Uh, but I ordered this one directly from Century and this is the very good option. I didn't get charged any tax, which is great. So the price came out to be what the good options probably was with shipping and tax and anything. Whatever the case, I went for the very good one directly from Century. Let's see if it's any different. Cool. It's like classic Century. All right. This, of course, is the aluminum frame post-war P38. A lot of other people will give you better history than I will, but I just want to show you my example, so let's do it. Okay. B-A, all right. We got an original magazine, which is great. Still have paint on the safety. This is good. We have German proofs, which is cool. Yeah, one thing I'm noticing is this grip is a little loose. That's no big deal, hopefully. All right. Well, I mean, it's in pretty good shape. A couple scratches here and there but a little bit of wear around the muzzle, but some gunk in there too. But overall, looks really good, but we can break it down and take a little bit better look at it. Dang, that feels nice though. Hmm, well, this grip panel has a little bit of scratch there, but looks like no scratch. No cracks there, so that's good. Oh, lanyard loop intact. Magazine looks good. Labeled P38, Walter. That's cool. Good deal. Well, that's looking pretty good to me so far. Let's break it down and see if there's anything we need to worry about inside and then get her cleaned up. All right, let's have a look here. Magazine. I'd lock this around normal position. Try this decocker. Working well. There we go. Here's barrel locking system. Okay. This condition seems to carry through. On the inside, see the nice import mark there. The color of this frame was once a dark blue, but in brighter light, it seems almost like a navy blue, which is, it's, it's really cool. Let's see if I can try and get a shot of that. Anyway, in here, Inside the frame that weighs nothing, because of course it's aluminum, is looking really good. Dust and grime and other things, but springs are looking good. So that's nice. Barrel looks great. A little bit of cleaning. It'll be all right. This magazine looks 
in great shape. Marked Walther P38, 9mm. Get that apart and cleaned up also. Okay, so I want to get in here and take a look at that firing pin, firing pin spring. It's always a first look for me. I love figuring these kind of things out. There it is. Okay, so that gives us the dust cover and the rear sight. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, and there's still quite a bit of cosmoline and gunk. So next I need to slide this guy out. In there. This probably isn't the best camera angle. I'm sure you can't. This lighting on this bench is not great for video. So there is the loaded chamber indicator and spring. We'll just that this is the retaining pin here. Yes. Okay. So that should give us firing pin and firing pin spring. Okay, which I didn't check the orientation of before I let it fall out of there. All right. I had to do this off camera, but there she is, and that should give us the extractor pin. There should be a spring in there. There she is. All right. Good. It's always good to get that extractor out there, in my opinion. I feel like that's kind of cleaning behind your ears. And there is some good gunk down in there. All right, so I'm glad I went ahead and stripped this slide. There's quite a bit of gunk and looks like cosmoline, but some gunpowder residue and other things in there. So it's good we went ahead and stripped this. That way I can get it greased up, cleaned up, and I'll know that it's in good shape. So otherwise, slide is looking really good. I'm very happy with that. So one of the things I'm doing is just going through with the toothpick around these edges, and especially in the slide grooves here. A lot of people kind of rush through the cleaning process. And for me, especially on these older guns, it's kind of a good manual therapy thing. And also it gives you time just while you're cleaning this out to think about that this is all dust and dead skin from people who are long since passed away. And that will be me one day. But not today, as they say. So we continue on. Anyway, this is going to come out really good and I'm excited about it. All right, so I got everything cleaned up that I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna leave the frame alone because honestly, I just wanna get out and shoot this and I don't have time for that today. So I wanna make sure I don't mess anything up in there. So I'm gonna take a little bit to learn more about that. But in the meantime, this slide, and all of these parts look really good. I think this would have been graded almost an excellent if it wasn't as dirty, but that's my bonus. So let's see. Safety looks great. The bluing is really good on just about everything minus the magazine base plate, but that's to be expected. I didn't see any rust or anything else significant anywhere as of yet. Other than on this mag, there is a little spot here, but I can take care of that. Uh, the follower, everything inside there wasn't bad at all. Um, extractor looks good. The rear sight looks good. The dust cover's looking real nice. Uh, grips look really good. No cracks. No major scratches. There's a little bit here. 
couple dings right there, but otherwise that's all really good. Firing pin looks great. Uh, there's nothing left except let's get this back together and take a look at her. I was able to pick up this P38 holster, which is really nice, pretty good condition. There's some markings in here, and I'm not sure that I can decipher them. In fact, I know that I cannot. So if anybody knows anything about that, please let me know. I was also able to pick up a new old stock magazine for this holster to ride in the compartment there. And actually this, I made a mistake as a P1 mag. Um, I could have got the P38, and I get these from Numerich. Uh, and they still have them, I believe. They're not cheap, but I wanted an additional one to fit in this pouch. Now, this one's more of a parkerized one. It's not more of it is parkerized, and that's because it's for a P1, which is a wartime model. That's just nice to have, and I'm glad that I could still get at least one while I had the chance. I was also able to pick up a reproduction copy of the P38 owner's manual, which is always nice and just a good addition to have with the pistol itself. I guess I'm looking for a cleaning rod for this and probably a lanyard loop would be nice to have. Uh, but other than that, it's nice to have a couple little things to go with this and I'm very glad that I picked it up. So does anyone else have one with the frame that's this color, uh, sort of a discolored blue? This one is really more of a navy blue or a royal blue. Now I know that happens in the bluing process with steel. If there's a defect in the chemicals or I believe it's some magnesium or something's off balance. Now this is being aluminum. I don't know if this was, I don't believe it was anodized, but I'm not sure. That's not my specialty. So if you know about that, please let me know. And if you have one with a similar frame color, let me know. I think these are really cool and uh, some other people out there might as well. So anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching as always. Until next time, keep your fingers off the trigger. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.